on the basis of our understanding that the dead are truly dead and there is no discussion with the living. Public lectures given in commemoration of the departed and their scholarly accomplishment may be okay as long as we are talking about them, not to them. So, three things I would say if you want to have a day when you are telling your grandchildren about the grandfather they never met. The, 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 the function will not be anywhere near the grave. That's why I don't agree with, with the going back to the grave to put a cross, to pray, because it's a matter thing to make the children think that their grandfather is in that grave, and he isn't. Your grandfather is with the Lord. This is the dead body of your grandfather that are by, by now may even have become soil. So the first thing is you cannot do a memorial anywhere near the burial site. If the idea is helping the grandchildren to know about their grandfather, to learn lessons that have made you and your parents who you are because of the kind of grandfather you, uh, you had, then you can talk about it in your home or far away from the grave because the grave is not required. It is your memory that is actually required. So the first thing I'm saying, let if you want to have a, a lecture, you know, commemorating, whatever, that's some, some kind of a way of sharing what about your memory of a person. In order to ensure it has nothing to with, with the, with the spirit, spiritual worship of the dead, let it be away from there. Number two, let it always be about. And let it be honoring to God. You are thanking God for the things that the person accomplished when they were on earth. What the, when you do that, it helps everybody to concentrate not on the dead body, but on the things that he accomplished. And finally, I think it will be very, very important to, to, have, to have clarity and clarify to the people who are, in the, who are there why you are commemorating, why you are remembering the person. The aim must be the living. In other words, there are lessons you want to draw for the good of the living. They are, they are the, they are the, 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 the commemoration is nothing to benefit the, the dead. It must be clear our understanding of scripture, there is absolutely nothing you can do just like the rich man was told for the dead to benefit in any way. So a commemoration must be clear. It is not to benefit the dead. It's not, you are not paying your respects for the dead. It's too late. There's nothing you are doing that is going to benefit the dead. It must be, the objective must be made very clear.